Hey everybody, Cat Clark here, and we are kicking off the 2024 season, which means we've got a full event calendar ahead. We've got fun for everybody, uh, singles events, doubles events, foursomes, couples events, everything you need to know is gonna be now through the Golf Genius Portal, uh, all of our registration through there. Uh, for more information on that, we're gonna kick it over to Chris Lane to go over how to register for our events in 2024. Chris? Thanks, Cat. Chris Lane, head PGA golf professional here at Prairie Green, getting ready to walk you through the registration process via Golf Genius for the Swing for Students 2024 golf event, first stop on our Sioux Falls golf tour. We'll be using Golf Genius to register for all of our Sioux Falls golf tour events as well as our City Series events. It's just a way to streamline the process for everybody and make it way more efficient. So once you get the flyer, you're gonna notice a QR code on the top left-hand portion of the flyer. Whether you get that via social media or via email, you can hover over that with the camera feature on your smartphone. That'll bring up the URL. Click on that URL and that's gonna take you to the screen that we are looking at right now. So once we move forward with the process, very important to notice the GGID right next to the QR code. This is the ID for this event only. So we'll use that, that GGID to sign in during the registration process. You're gonna notice that I'm on a, on a Swing for Students test page. So my GGID is gonna vary just a little bit, but it'll be the same process. So again, use the GGID located right near the QR code for each and every event that you sign up through Golf Genius. So now we'll move forward through the process. So we'll do register now. I get the login with GGID first notification. Go to the top right to the sign in. GGID for this is a little bit different than what you'll see on near the QR code for the flyer, but the same purpose. Click sign in. Now we're back to the same page. We'll click register. We'll move over to the middle of the screen to new registration. Then from here, you're gonna be able to select your name from the roster. It's important to know that the registration process will only work if you have at least one member on your team. Member meaning somebody that's played in one of our Sioux Falls golf events in the past. If you're new to our events, you will need to call the golf shop if you're not playing with somebody that's played in our past event so that we can collect some important data from you. So from here, we're gonna click the drop down menu. I'm gonna search for myself. Move over to the right of the screen and click continue. Now you'll notice that we do have some required fields. Email, first and last name, obviously. And then we move down to the most important piece of our, our events, which is our GIN number, so we can level out the playing field via a GIN handicap. So you do need to have an active GIN. It's a required field to register. So my information, because I've played in the past, already populates for me. Now as we move down, I have the option to add a member. I can add a guest as long as I have all the pertinent information lifted, listed above. Email, player name, handicap, GIN number, and index. So for the streamlined purpose, we're gonna go with the member part of the event. So I'll click member, because I know that the person I'm playing with has played in the past. Pick my buddy Cat. You can notice that all his information auto-populates as well. So the Swing for Students is a two-person event, so I can stop right here if I know that I'm just signing up myself and my team member. However, if you're playing with a foursome and you know the other team names, you can add member or add guest and round out your foursome. So for right now, we're just going to stick with the two players. I have to click these two check boxes here to acknowledge privacy policies and terms of service. Go to the bottom right to register. Then from here, I'll see the open tee sheet. Once registration process is started, some of these tee times by the time you get there may not be available to you, but then you'll click and pick the name of the person that registered the team. So in, in this case, it's me. I click this, drop down to next. From there, I can pick any tee time and because I signed up myself and Cat, it's gonna drag us both. So I'll take the 9 a.m. tee time and you can see that it inserted myself and my partner, Kat Clark, for the Swing for Students event. 
from here, if I didn't, if all of a sudden before I move from the screen, I want to change my tea time, I can elect to do that. But if you're okay with the 9 a.m. tea time that you selected, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click done. It, from here, it'll take you back to the home screen. But be it, being you have a valid email address stored in our system, you and your playing partner will get notification that you have indeed registered for the Swing for Students event. From there, the only thing you have to do is show up for the event and pay for your appropriate fees and have a great time. So again, this is the registration process for the Swing for Students 2024 Sioux Falls Golf Tour stop. And this is the feature that we'll use moving forward for all of our Sioux Falls Golf Tour events and City Series events. We hope you take a chance to watch this video. It'll make the experience really easy for you and streamline the process. Again, we're trying to make, give you the best customer experience that we possibly can for you and make it streamlined for you. So hope to see you for the Swing for Students event and all of our Sioux Falls Golf Tour events. And we'd love to see you on the links. Thanks for choosing Sioux Falls Golf. We are golf.